These Daphnia were cultured in the very quart jar that you see them in, and I'm going to explain how you can do the same thing without aeration, without filtration, and without even any yeast or any other finely powdered foods. This culture was started back in August. It is now the beginning of December, and the only thing I have done on this jar, partial water changes, which remove Daphnia and some snails. I've removed some snails by hand, and I've added fish food, and that is it. So let me show you how I would go about setting one of these up. Put this to the side here, and get another quart jar. So I would start out with some crushed coral. I'm just going to add a few grains of crushed coral there. I'm not being really exacting about it, really careful about it. And then I'm going to swish this culture around because what I want to do is stir up some of the detritus at the bottom. If I spill a little bit of water, not a big deal. Okay, because the detritus helps get the biofiltration and basically the mini ecosystem that you want going in this other jar. I'm pouring out about half of the culture, more or less. Once again, exact amounts are not extremely important into this jar. And then I'm going to take some purified water and top it off. This uh, purified water has gone through a carbon filter. You could use other sources of purified water. You can use tank water if you're sure your aquarium water is free of medications and free of hydra. You only fill up the jar up to its widest point, right about there. And it looks like I have a few snails in there, but what I'm going to do is add just a couple more snails. So I'm going to very carefully remove a couple of these young bladder snails from here. If you don't have bladder snails, you could use a different type. You could put a ram's horn snail in there, for example. I wouldn't recommend putting more than one ram's horn snail in, and I would recommend putting one very young ram's horn snail in to reduce the chance that it can breed um, because ram horn snails are so much bigger. But if you have the bladder snails, you can just have a small number in there and be prepared to remove some on occasion. Now you can see that there are a number of Daphnia in there and that in addition to the crushed coral down at the bottom, some of the detritus is suspended in the water column, some of it's starting to sink, and that is going to be key because it's going to help uh, introduce beneficial bacteria into this setup. Let me show you a setup I did just like this. I think it was about two weeks ago. I'm going to move it out of the way and put it right here. Okay, so I started this jar by doing the exact same thing I just did. The crushed coral, added some water, uh, some purified water, and added some of this water with some of the detritus at the bottom. I'm now going to top off this one with some fresh purified water. I'm going to make sure to cover up the snail eggs so they don't desiccate. So I'm going to have to add just a little bit more water, which I will add from here. There we go. So with an established culture, I feed these about every day. And with a newly established culture, I may feed one every three or four days until the Daphnia population and the snail population start to reproduce quite a bit. So this method is replicable. And as you can see, you're not going to produce huge amounts of Daphnia, but you're going to produce significant amounts of Daphnia if you just need uh, to feed half a dozen betas a, a Daphnia treat once in a while, or you want to treat your 10-gallon tank to a treat every week or so, or you just want to have a backup for your other larger Daphnia cultures. I have over 60 gallons of Daphnia culture going in various sized tanks, but it's nice to have a few backups going, and that's what these are. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more Daphnia content, I have plenty of videos like this one up in the corner. And thank you for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams and shorts during the week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.